Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, June 29th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Listen, if you woke up this morning and thought to yourself, man, I wish Dave would do a preview of the Portugal Pro on Muscle in the Morning today, you're in luck because that's exactly what we're doing. Starting with this update from Jose Mete Bubieri aka the Maddle Man. A few weeks ago he confirmed that he will in fact be competing in Portugal next month, which will be his first time on an IFBB stage since he won the San Marino Pro back in 19. From a structural standpoint, we might be looking at one of the most underrated athletes in Classic, because the one time that we've actually seen him compete on a pro level, he was absolutely lights out. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure who else we can expect to see in this lineup. And I'm not also sure if it even matters, because if he shows up at 100%, there might not be anyone in the building who can touch him. If you're one of the diehards who watch our show every single day, you might remember a segment we did on High Tour Galveo a few weeks ago, when we spotlighted the former amateur Olympia winner after one of our sources told us that he was getting ready to make his pro debut. At the time, we didn't know where or when, we just knew that something was in the works. And now it turns out that that something we were talking about is going to be the Portugal Pro. The official announcement came just last week from High Tour's team, and they believe that he has a legitimate shot to win the show outright there, which would obviously earn him an Olympia qualification. We see these pictures of High Tour alone in the gym, and he looks like he has all the tools to step right in and be a factor in this division from day one. But we should all know from experience that what we see in the gym doesn't always equate to what we end up seeing on stage. But if he does end up being the real deal, he'll add another interesting piece to factor into the equation once we start getting closer to October. One of the other pro debuts to keep your eye on in Portugal will be in the Open Division, where we're going to see 25-year-old Ukrainian sensation Vlad Sukaruko make his way to an IFBB stage for the first time. Vlad won his pro card back in 19 when he won the overall at the Dennis James Classic. And instead of jumping right into the pro circuit like some people expected, he decided to take all of last year off to pack on some size so he had enough muscle to be competitive in the Open Division right from the get-go. Based on what we've seen in the photos, he should be coming in right on the money as far as conditioning is concerned. And that alone could be enough to get him a solid look from the judges, depending on who else decides to jump into the lineup. For only being 25 years old, this kid's already got a ton of quality muscle. So if he can hold this look for another few weeks, he could be well on his way to securing his first top five finish as a pro. Even though it's still a little too early for me to know what the entire women's physique lineup looks like in Portugal, I do know for a fact that Laura Pintado is planning to make her season debut there. And if you're a fan of the division, that's something to get excited about. Two years ago, Laura finished fifth at the Olympia, and if you go back and look at who finished in front of her, you can make a legitimate argument for the top five group being the best that we've ever seen in the history of the division. When Laura's conditioning is on, she's good enough to beat almost anyone in the division on any given night. So if she shows up looking even remotely close to the way she did a few years ago, I don't know if there will be anyone else in that lineup who can hang with her. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs>